again whilst that's drying we can start on some of the people at the front so with quite a big brush we'll do the first man in the corner who is literally blobs of paint a little bit of skin tone we've just turned him round but I want him looking at the musicians not looking away some sepia for his hair and then some Prussian blue mixed with the sepia for his dark clothes a little bit of light hitting him but not much so we we'll just exaggerate that on the shoulder and then put in the blue collar light red and sepia for his hand on the back of the chair that makes him look relaxed and then we'll just work our way on to the next person. A little bit of raw sienna for the top of her head where the light's hitting it and then sepia for the darker shadows. And again she's got dark clothes on. I'll just make that on the slightly mauve side so it's not the same as the other person. And then getting darker as we go down I can mix some sepia into that intense violet. And on to our next figure. We're all sienna for the head, sepia for the dark tones, the dark shadows, and some light red for the face. And she's got a mauve sort of coat on, so I'll keep that more violet. I won't mix that with anything at the moment. A bit darker here, very dark underneath. And then very light on the top where the light's hitting it. So just watered out version. And there's a handbag here as well. We we'll just pop that in. That fills up that space. You can't really make out what it is, but just put in blobs of dark colours. And there's a figure next to that lady, a man relaxing so he can go in there. Blonde hair on the top. Some light red with some sepia for the skin tones. And I'll keep his clothes fairly dark so they can be Prussian blue and sepia and some dark hair, the shadow bit on the blonde. Right now that's dry, I can go back to the musicians and I'll just put the dark sepia bits onto their musical instruments. It's just the shadows on the violin. Sepia mix with a bit of Prussian blue for the black of the cello. I'm going to just have to let that dry before I do any more. But now our paper's dry, I can start to fill in some of the gaps that are on there. So the steps can go in. They can be a mix of ultramarine and burnt umber. I'm just placing them in quickly. Let's mix a little bit of raw sienna into that to get this bit because it's slightly darker. Right, I can get the chair backs in there and the table. The tabletops are a little bit of Prussian blue with lemon yellow. It's very well watered down. And the backs of the chairs are due in the burnt sienna. Just dry brush marks, just to make it really simple. That one's slightly darker, so that can be a sepia. Just looking for the lighter ones at the moment. I 
it's light hitting the top of it and now some sepia on your brush. And gradually you can see all those gaps are starting to fill in. There's some rungs on some of the chairs and then the dark bits can go in once that's dry. And the same just down here. Now, some of the musician's clothes need a few darker marks on them, so I'm going to mix some alizarin crimson with intense violet for the musician in the red. Just squint and see where those dark shapes are. There's a dark shadow under the violin. And then for his trousers, I'll mix some Prussian blue with the cobalt. And just again, look at the shapes that that's making. Few crease marks. We don't need too many marks on this one at all, just keep it as simple as you possibly can. And then intense violet on this lady for some of the darker shadows that she's got. I very, very simplified. Those crease marks make it look real where she sort of sat a little bit hunched up there. 